Why don't you tell me a little bit about which one of our lines you've been using and how you like them? All right, well, the main line that I use for y'all is the Wind Tamer in the Pink. Mm -hmm. Is the Wind Tamer in the Pink. Um, I use it in a 25 or a 30 pound. Um, I put this on all my rides for all my customers for two reasons. I lose less fish. And honestly, I don't use as much line as I ever have in my life. Yeah. How, long does, it how long does it last in your charter operation? You know, I'll tell you again, since when I used to throw mono, I used to have to change my line almost every month for my yeah. customers. Yeah. And now I'm changing my line maybe every four months. Oh, that's great. Maybe almost yeah. six months yeah. because it just don't wear out. Um, if you get a wind knot in it, as long as you just kind of work it out a little bit, it'll pull right out. It don't tangle up. Um, and yeah. then when we came out with the 40G, I believe you, you switched to that on your personal yep. reels, right? I did start throwing all the 40G on my personal reels. I like the 40G. Personal-wise, it's probably the best line I've ever thrown. Okay. Uh, what, what, it makes, throws, what makes it different than the Wind Tamer? It's smoother. It mm -hmm. throws further. It runs on all my bait casting reels smoother. Mm -hmm. um, and just, I mean, the distance that you get out of it for the diameter and the strength that it is. I, I like to tell people that, to me, it, it, it throws and behaves very much like a monofilament it line. Does. Um, and it's it does. a super easy braid to use, but it's incredibly strong. As a matter of fact, I believe it's the strongest line for its diameter on the market. And this, for example, this is a 25, like a four pound uh, monofilament diameter. And you don't get that, you know how you, you get that sound coming through your braided, through, through, your, through the eyes of your fishing yeah. rod when you're yeah. reeling it in yeah. from the braided fishing? You don't get that with this. Yeah. It comes through just like a mono, smooth yeah. and clean. Yeah. And how long have you had this on your personal reels? Two years now. Have you changed it? Uh, maybe once. Maybe once in two years. And I guess yeah. you use those reels pretty often. Yes, I use them at least three to four days a week. <laughs> That's cool. He said, have you ever used Finn's braid? And I was like, no. I said, I hate braided fishing line. I'll never put it on one of my reels ever. He goes, well, if you put this on your reel, you won't say that. I said, you're going to have to convince me of that. He goes, well, you put this on the reel, you let me know. I was like, well, look, I just put braid on my reel two weeks ago, and I tore it off after three casts. And sure enough, I put the wind tamer on my reel, and... Two, three weeks later, I sent him a message on the thing. I was like, man, that's the best fishing line I've ever put on my fishing reel when it comes down to my customers. Yeah. And and ever that, since then, I've went 100% braided fishing line, and I don't own any monofilament anymore. And if I do, I'm tying signs up with it. 